Tether from Strings and Threads. Welcome and thank you so much for being here. Every Wednesday I've been updating on a wearable I've been working on because way back in January when the new year came, I said, that's it. I want to start getting better at making wearables. So I decided I was going to start making wearables and then showing my progress every Wednesday. And there have been some good, some bad, but overall, I have learned a lot and I feel a lot more confident in making wearables. Jess from J-Hook Magic is also joining me. She's working on a boho poncho and she's working on her second one because she made the first one and it ended up being a little bit too big for her. So she's trying again and that's what I have had to do too along the way. I've had to either completely ditch or try again. So right now I'm working on something from Cactus and Lace. It's called the Easy Tank. And this is how it looks. It's made with, uh, it calls for the Kaboo. I've been saying Kaboo, but then I heard somebody else say it and they pronounced it differently. So I have no idea if I'm saying it correctly. Here's how it is. Kobo, Kaboo. I don't know. I apologize because I've been pronouncing it that way for weeks now. So if I've been saying it wrong, I'm so sorry. Um, if you know the correct way to say it and you can put the pronunciation in my description, that would be great because I really don't want to sound like a jerk. You know what I mean? Saying it wrong. So um, when I first saw this pattern, I priced out this yarn and it came to $54 if I bought it from Michaels. That's where I priced it out. And so I decided to go to my Dollar Tree and use the cotton blend yarn that they sell. And I made this one, this version of it, for a grand total of $13 <laughs> plus my time. I won't be able to go up high enough to show you the whole thing, but this is how, this is how it looks in the picture. And this is how it looks on me with the $13 worth of yarn. And I feel really good about it. I love it. I've been wearing it. But after I made it, one of my subscribers, Deb, was so kind. And she sent me enough of this yarn to remake it again so I can have a comparison. So that's what I've been working on. I was really hoping to be a little bit further along this week. But I have been... Planning, planning, planning. I don't know if you kind of have been getting to know me over the past year, you realize that I'm very scheduled and I like to plan. And I know that last year, like around thanks or not Thanksgiving, um, Halloween and Christmas last year, I was scrambling to get some really good content out there. And I hope I did. But this year, I don't want to be so rushed and... So I have been working on content and posting it for to come out on in October and to come out in December. So I have two Halloween tutorial video tutorials that will be upcoming in October. And don't ask me the dates. I just put it in there and tried to forget about it because I wanted it to be a surprise for me too. And then I have two video tutorials for Christmas already done that are pre-scheduled and you know they're already uploaded and pre-scheduled to come out in December. I don't remember what dates I picked. I just I, I wanted it to be fun for me too. So hopefully I'll have more and better quality things come out this year for you. But I worked really hard on one of them this week. So I didn't work as hard on finishing this up I, I am doing it two tones because I was given two colors. So here's the front panel. If you watched last week, you saw that the front panel was done last week. And then this week, I have to double check, but I believe I'm finished with the white part of it. And so now I just need to do the yellow part and sew it together. So I'm really hopeful that by next week I'll have it done and we can do a side-by-side -side comparison. I'll wear both of them uh, and I will show you how both of them look. I'll explain to you like how they feel and all those categories that we talked about. But, you know, I don't know. Just by looking, 
do you think it's going to make a huge difference? Just curious what your opinion is. I'm not sure until I put it together to tell you the truth. I can say that the Kobo, Kabo, however you say it, is much softer to work with. I don't want anyone to get the impression that, oh, this is so coarse and rough, it's difficult to work with. It was not difficult to work with this at all either. It's just if I had to say which one was softer, I would say that the this one is softer. This one feels amazing. This one I've been wearing so far all summer. It feels comfortable. It's not too hot. Uh, I've, I'll let you know how the other one works up. Hopefully next week it'll be all together and we can go through all of those categories. If you have any new categories, let me know that you wanted to ask about for the comparison. So thank you for watching today. I hope everybody has a great day. Tomorrow is Things We're Making Thursday and tomorrow we announce what the pattern will be for next month. And I'm really excited about it. I've said that every month, but I really am excited about this one and I'll talk about it tomorrow and let you know why. I hope you have a great day and I'll see you in the next video. Bye.